Hello everyone. What I wanted to address with all of you today is the unit circle and how to come up with all the different uh, uh, coordinates that go around using the coordinates that are already given in your first quadrant. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted you guys to just go ahead and take a moment, hit pause right now and go ahead and fill in all the portions I have for your angle measures right now. Um, with, since we are uh, going into online learning, we're just adapting a little bit. We're not going to have you guys find all of your radian measures and your angle measures just yet. That's going to be reserved for pre-calc. But what we do want you guys to be able to do is read a unit circle and find the measures. So the one first thing I wanted you guys to start to notice is that um, once again we've already talked about this. In each of these quadrants, what you should notice is both your values here are going to be positive. Both your values here are going to be negative and then positive. And then if you go here, we're going left and then down. So this is going to be negative and negative. And then uh, so on and so forth. So once again, this quadrant is going to be positive and positive. This quadrant is going to be negative and positive. This quadrant is going to be negative and negative. And this quadrant is going to be positive and then negative. And then what we did in class is we took this first quadrant. This first quadrant, what we're going to be seeing is that each of these values, we're able to go ahead and make the different values using what's already given. Now, if you are looking at this triangle in this quadrant here, we can form a triangle with this point, the x-axis, and we're able to see that this triangle here that's created is going to look very, very much like this one up here in this quadrant. Everything here is actually going to be the same measure, except for what we know is that uh, they're going to have different signs. Specifically in this quadrant, it's going to be positive, positive, and this quadrant is going to be positive, negative. Well, this one we aren't given the value for, so what we're going to do is go to another quadrant and try to find the same sort of thing. So once again, this triangle is also going to look very similar to this one. So if you guys take and you're able to go ahead and draw a line going across from each of these points, you're able to find what those values are going to be. So we've already done that with one. But once again, in this quadrant, this is negative positive, and here they're both going to be positive. So instead of having negative root 3 over 2 and 1 half, we're going to have positive root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Positive root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the same sort of idea and roll that out into the third quadrant. Once again, this is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go ahead and take this point, we're going to go down, we're going to draw another triangle, and you guys are going to see all of these triangles uh, are actually going to be uh, congruent to one another. Um, they will have uh, different signs for where they are uh, uh, in, what, what quadrant they are in. So with this, if you're taking that same idea, this is going to be negative positive, but here it's negative negative. So both of these signs are going to be negative. So we're going to have negative root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay. What I'd like you guys to do is go ahead and please fill in the rest of the missing values for me. 